Okay, so we're asked to solve the following simultaneous equations. Let me just write them out slightly bigger. So 3x add 4y is equal to 5. And 2x subtract 3y is equal to 9. And we're obviously asked to find the x and the y. Now it's best, um, when the signs are different, it's really handy because it means we can add equations. So because the sign is different there, this is good. Let's just make the coefficient in front of the y the same. So let's make both of these the same. So what can we do to ensure that is the case? Well, if we multiply the whole of that equation by um, 3 and we multiply the whole of this equation by 4, look what we get. We get something that makes our life a whole lot easier. So I'm going to write this beside in red. We're going to get 9x add 12y is equal to 15 and we're going to get 8x subtract 12y is going to be equal to 36. Okay, now I'm going to call these my equations 1 and 2. Now I can just add equations because the 12y and the negative 12y will cancel. So basically I'm adding equations 1 and equations 2. That will give me 17x here and it's going to be equal to these two things added together here which would be 51. So x is going to be 51 divided by 7. Now you're in an exam, it's a non-calculator, it's usually going to work out a nice number for you. Just think about it, Seven, uh, 17 and then it goes 34, 51, so x is going to be equal to 3. Now you've got x is 3, you must find out what y is, otherwise you're not done. So substitute sub x equals 3 into, let's say, uh, equation A. So we get 3 multiplied by 3, add 4y is equal to 5. So we've got that 9 add 4y is equal to 5. Subtract 9 of both sides, 4y is going to be equal to negative 4, and divide by 4, y is negative 1. So we are thinking that our answer is x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 1. So highlight for that, that for the examiner. And of course, let's check it. So let's check it in each one. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. Okay. 4 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 4. 9 subtract 4 is 5. It works for the first one. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Uh, and we've got subtract 3 multiplied by negative 1, which would be negative 3. And 6 subtract negative 3 is indeed 9. So I know I've got the right answer there.